Like now I'm tight. I'm tight all over again. Why didn't I do it for Gucci man, Gucci man, Gucci man? Why didn't I do it for him? Why? I thought I was too good or something. What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. This is another post workout video and I'm currently about to eat some food. I got some Chipotle. This is not my water. We're at my biggie. I'm about to eat some Chipotle. I was craving it. Um, I got a bowl with brown rice. Sorry, I got a bowl with brown rice, black beans, chicken, the new one. I got tomatoes, corn, guac, lettuce. So that's what I'm about to eat on. Yes. So today I wanted to talk about the time that I told the head of Gucci that he can go downstairs, walk two blocks down to a Starbucks if he wanted his espresso. That's exactly what happened. And to be honest, if I did anything that day, if I did anything that night, it was to fumble the bag. But let me get some food in my system because, oh, and I got some chips. You got options and I've been chosen. Mm. 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 I don't like eating in the car, y'all, but gotta do what you gotta do. I got the little smoked chipotle hot sauce. Amen, 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 amen. Right, first bite. Yo, my mouth is watering, I'm not gonna lie. Mmm. The flavor. Mmm, mm mm mm. Mmm. Mm. Maggot. Yo, honestly, I don't know if I'm this way, but, or I don't know if y'all this way, but Chipotle could be a hit or a miss for me. Sometimes I'm craving it and it just don't be hitting. And then other times I have it and I'm like, yup, I got y'all at the right time. Mm-hmm. And today I feel like I got them at the right time. So what? Uh, hello, Chip. Mm-hmm. Y'all can't even see it. Y'all don't mind me. I don't know if y'all into eating videos. I'm not really into making them, but I do be on YouTube watching mukbangs and stuff like that. Let me know if y'all the same way, but for those of you that do watch mukbangs and stuff, mukbangs, mukbangs, um, <clears throat> When y'all eat, do you guys enjoy clicking on a YouTube video and watching other people eat as you eat? Or is it just me? All right, I'm gonna stop the camera so I can eat a little bit and then I'll get back on and give y'all the story time. All right, peace. Y'all, I've been stuck on this song, hold on. Sean Millie, love me. Okay, now that we got all of that out the way, please let me put you guys on to the time that I fumbled the bag badly. 
So, so I'm in a catering company, whatever, whatever. We cater different places around the city, around New York State, really. Different locations from like high rises and luxury and ballrooms and all types of things. So there's always a lot of people of high class there. One day I'm working the shift at the Jazz at Lincoln Center. Y'all know the one Columbus Circle, 59th Street, whatever. So I'm there. Um, the event is a how do I how would I explain it? It was an event for some of the highest top top CEOs in the world, really. Like for example, the founder of Walmart, the founder of the Patriots. I think he's the same person. The head of Gucci was there. People who have billion dollar businesses, Olympic gold medalists. So essentially, at the Lincoln Center, we set up the the space as if it were a hotel kind of vibe where we'll bring if you want coffee we'll bring it to you or you could come to the buffet the buffet so and they have workshops and meetings all day in the atrium you know in the auditorium so it was that kind of vibe boom this guy comes up to us and it's me and this other girl working that section of the bar this guy comes up to us and he looked like he smelled good. He looking fresh, he looking, you know, top notch. And I'm like, okay, but that's what's expected. So I'm not thinking anything. And a lot of the time, you know of these people, but you don't really recognize or know what they look like in person is very different, you know? I'm just there to do my job and network when it's appropriate. Oh, also somebody who was there was Jamie Foxx's manager. Guy comes in, he's walking, he got this suit, he's looking fresh, his suit got a, a little badge thing, looking nice, you know, sharp, he got the rings, he got the bracelets, whatever. And he's asking me and he's like, um, do you guys happen to have espresso? And we were like, no, actually we don't. We have regular or decaf coffee. Would you like any of those? And he's like, what happened? What's going on? Like y'all didn't have espresso last year. This year you guys still don't have espresso. He was like, is there a way for me to get it downstairs? But by downstairs, he meant like, without leaving the building downstairs. Like he literally meant like flights down. I took it as downstairs just means like outside, like downstairs, just not on this floor. So I was like, I was like, oh my God, yeah. Told him, like there's a Starbucks and he's like, oh nice. There's a Starbucks. So like what floor is that? And I was like, um, it's two blocks down. <laughs> I was like, it's actually two blocks down. It was like two blocks down. Are you crazy? <laughs> He's like, hell no, that's too far. And I was like, really? I don't think that's that far. But I'm over here going back and forth, like trying to rationalize and justify and all these things. And then he's like, no, okay, it's all right, but thank you. And he was like, come on, I'm Italian. Like, I need espresso. Like, I don't drink this type of, this fake coffee or whatever. And I was like, oh, I understand that, but I'm so sorry, you know, but yeah. And so he walked away, but you know, we was talking back and forth. We was talking about other things. He walks away and then there's a photographer who's taking pictures of the event. And he goes, yo, do you know who that was? And I was like, nope, no idea why, who was that? He was like, oh yeah, that's the head of Gucci. And I was like, hmm. <sighs> Makes sense. <laughs> Makes a lot of freaking sense. I was like, that makes sense. And I'm, and I'm over here telling this man that he could go down the block around the corner and two steps down to a Starbucks, to a Starbies. I was like, mm, damn, all right, whatever, right? Boom, that's not the end of it, y'all. So then fast forward, I'm seeing people in and out. People are putting me on to who this person is and who that person is and I recognize some people. And I'm like, oh shit, that's dope, da da da, whatever. And so <clears throat> now I go on my break and I was like, okay, we only have like 20 or 30 minutes. I don't want anything that they're serving here. So let me just go get a coffee really quick at Starbucks. And then I got the intelligent idea of maybe I should buy him his espresso, right? So then I go to Starbucks, it's this whole thing. Um, they got my order wrong and then I had to go back. The line was long. It was a lot of people. It was, it was just a lot going on. And so I went, I got my matcha latte, but the whole time I'm thinking like, should I just order him an espresso? But now I'm overthinking it. Cause I'm like, and I have absolutely no reason to overthink it. Cause girl, if you just buy an espresso, I'm sure it's not like $55,000, you know, like just buy the espresso. If you don't see him, that's it. 
if you see him offer it to him and if he says no it's cool and if yes whatever like it's the thought but i did think about it so whatever i i'm at starbucks and i'm waiting for my drink and i'm like dang should i just order him an espresso right now for no reason because i also it was a minute since i had seen him so i was like oh maybe he left i'm coming up with all these excuses that's all it is and i know y'all feel the same way i was just coming up with excuses right whatever i should have just got him the espresso point blank period i get off my break and now i'm back on the floor i'm behind the bar and he comes and he's like talking to me again. And I was like, yo, you know what's so crazy? He's like, what, what's up? And I'm like, I went to Starbucks for my break. I shouldn't even have, why, why did I even say anything? I was like, I went to Starbucks on my break and thought about getting you your espresso. And thinking now it's like, okay, the thought can mean a lot, but you didn't do it. So, yo, that's a life lesson. That's a life lesson. You could think your way out of stuff. You could, think as hard as you can but if you don't execute it mm -mm. if you do not execute it you could keep thinking you could bust a brain vessel trying to think so hard but if you're not executing you just did that for nothing so then i told him i was like and i really thought about getting you your espresso but i wasn't sure he was like so where is that still want it and i'm like i didn't get it though that's that's the thing and he was like wow really really wanted that espresso that would have been nice and in that moment I knew that I fumbled the bag. Y'all, I fumbled the bag completely. Like, even if, yo, whatever, connections, connections. And listen, let's not get into the politics and the Gucci stuff and the, I can't keep up with that. You know, this is like person to person, human to human. This was just an interaction, a very simple interaction. Let's not take it further than what that was. I should have just went to my Starbucks and gotten him an espresso. I would do it for anybody else. I really would like if somebody I'm that kind of person if somebody was like you know I'm feeling for something 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 from Starbucks or from somewhere that I'm close by and if I'm going in that direction I wouldn't even tell you that I'm getting something but I'll just get it you know and then if I see you I'll just surprise you with it why didn't I do it for Gucci man Gucci man Gucci man why didn't I do it for him why I thought I was too good or something I thought I was too good. My family could have been set. All my friends could have been set. All of y'all that's watching this right now, y'all could have been set. We could have been good. But because I decided not to give this man his espresso from Starbucks, throw it all away. Fuck it. Fuck it, yo. <clears throat> like, now I'm tight. I'm tight all over again. Ask me if I asked for his card. No. Ask me if I asked anything about him. No and then hold on <laughs> then the girl that was working next to me i was like girl it's all love but you're doing too much so he pulls up again and she's like i love your rings i love your bracelets and i'm like don't do too much please don't don't do too much right now because but then he came back with some energy and he was like oh which ones i have four i was like oh no but that could have been me that could have been me though I'm over here sitting, sulking, eating my Chipotle in a car after doing some field work with my boy Jalil when we could have been in Italy, gucci it up. We could have been in Barcelona. We could have been in Dubai. We could have been, we could have been, we could have been, we could have been. I'm over this. Anywho. Because now I'm swarthy. That's the story, y'all. And I guess the moral of the story is if you think about something, do it. It's crazy if y'all go into my page on youtube my whole motto is literally don't think about it too much don't think about it too much and i thought about it i fumbled it i thought about it and i think this is just proof and this is the social proof that comes behind what happens when you don't do the things that you already know you should be doing why are we thinking so much? Don't think about it too much. And who knows? Maybe I got him that espresso and he'd be like, thanks and keep it pushing. Like, who knows? Maybe I'll get him the espresso and he spit in my face. Like, who knows? Like, who knows? But the fact is, like, I would never know now unless I stumbled across him again. But it don't matter who knows because I don't. It don't matter. <laughs> It does not matter who knows because I don't have the answer anymore. But anywho, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment, share it if you guys will. And please, please, please subscribe. I want to thank you guys so much. I know it's not a terrible amount, but I want to thank you guys for getting me to 120 subscribers. It felt like... It just feels like an accomplishment. It feels like when I do put out videos, it is being received. And 
it means a lot truly 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 means a lot so thank you guys so much i hope you guys have a blessed friday and peace out